Hi and welcome. I'm John and this is Unique All Games Join. Guys, welcome back. For everyone that's new, this is the Monday painting video. Now, the Monday painting video is usually up on a Monday, but this week I was so busy with rearranging the workshop, so it's, it's kind of going up. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> it's going up late this week. So, this is the model that won the vote for this week, which is supposed to be Captain. Absolutely fantastic model. I think this one comes from the Imperium magazine, to be honest. So, for all my regulars here, for everyone that voted, thank you very much. For all my regulars here, I feel love, thank you very much. I'll see you in a minute. Right, so to run you through my wet palette quickly, I have usual culprits, Screaming Skull, Corn Red, Uriel, uh, Uriel Grey, I have Nagraf Knight, I have, what else is that, that's Screamer Pink, I have Retribute Armour, I have Bugman, Bugman's Glow and Cadian Flesh Tone, yeah. So the first thing I'm going to do is get some chapter colours on there. So we'll start with the Screaming Skull. I'm going to come in, I'm just going to get all these little bits, should be two or three thin coats. Don't need to see me doing this because I'm just going to do a little bit on camera. You don't need to see me do the whole thing. Because those of you, those of you that are regulars here will know, you know, the, the chat, especially when chips colours. So I'm going to crack on and do the screaming skull and then come back to you for the corn red. Right, so there's the first coat. This is a tricky model because he has a special helmet on his, sharp, on his uh, hip there. So now I'm going to come in with corn red. I'm going to do the same thing, but on the other side, because that's my chapter colours. Again, I'm not going to do the whole thing. I'm just going to do a little bit of it so you can see the way we're doing it. There's a scrum on his leg there, so I need to just avoid that. So I'm going to go off camera and do the rest and come back to you when it's done. Right, so it's a, I'll give it a second coat of Screaming Skull. It's not perfect the way I want it, but it's still it's getting there. Now I'm going to come... Look, I forgot to do the, the red on the helmet, so I need to do that as well. But I'm going to come over with Negrof Knight. And I'm going to do the cloak. Give the cloak a nice base coat of Negrof Knight. Again, I'm not going to do all this on camera. I'm just going to do a little tiny bit so you can see it. I mean, this is very hard to see because it's dark and it's Negrof Knight. So I'm going to carry on with that and come back to you again. Right, so I actually put some um, Rune Fang steel onto that palette. It's a silver. I'm going to come in and I'm going to get all the things like this little bit in here. All of the little bits between the armor plates and the grills. Now here's a layer of paint so it will go and brighten and dull itself down. I'm actually going to hit the sword as well. Let's do it side to side. Yeah, it's going to give me that nice little chippy choppy effect. Not that it matters at the moment. But for the next part, it will do for the sword. I'm going to hit these. It's like a new right, right, bike right pistol. I suppose you could run it as a pleasure pistol if you wanted to. Again, I'm not getting the, I'm not getting the, the power distribution part in the middle there. Those of you that are regulars here, now I don't go over the top with weapons. If I can get a bit of detail in it, I will, but I don't really go over the top. I 
I'm gonna get the model quick one side. Let's read that red on his helmet. I'm gonna get the model quick one side and make sure there's no bits of silver that I want to do that I've missed. Right, so the next color I'm gonna come in for is some Uriel Grey. There's two bits I'm gonna do with this, this color. The first bit is his gun bit, it's the power source in his gun. And I want to overshoot it a little bit. So instead of doing it in the little, the little piece there, I've gone over onto the steel. Okay. And the other thing I want to do, I'm going to attempt his hair. Space Marines are weird, they have, a, have hair, I don't have hair. Really short hair or no hair at all. And usually just leave, leave it black and don't bother painting the hair, but these videos all to challenge myself with painting. And the white hair, the white hair, the grey hair looks so high. Hmm. Right now we're going to go to the bit I was dreading the most. I'm going to come in with some Bugman's Glow. I'm going to water it right down. And I'm just going to slap it all over the skin. It doesn't have to be fantastic, but just get all those skin sections covered. Yeah, so if you want to look at that, okay, that's a bit weird. Just trust the process. Right, so now I'm going to come in with Retribute Armor. I'm going to pick out everything that I want to be gold. So, da, 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 da. let's start with this little bad boy. This chest piece is going to be gold as well. You want to run down this scarab with his power sword. Realize there's a bit of cloak wrap around this, and he's come back and just spike some negra knight onto that. And so I left his his cufflings, if you like. So I want to get them with gold as well, so his arm stands out. Now yeah, the gold then breaks up the screaming skull a bit. So I'm going to go off camera, and I'm going to do the rest of the retribute arm on him, and I'll come back to you again. Right, so I've got some Bane Blade Brown on the wet palette now. And I'm going to just come in and just paint this gun pouch. This brown is also going to... Um, really break up more of this model
Now I'm going to go, I've got some Baylor Brown. And I'm going to do the ropes that are around his, around his chest here. My only concern is, it's not, is it going to make it look, is it going to be noticeable with the gold there? It looks like it's going to be... Hmm, looks like it's going to be a very weird combination there. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna stop that because it doesn't. It looks like it's gonna not gonna be noticeable at all. Okay. So I'm going to come in with. I mean, I like the hair on him. I think the hair looks fantastic. But I don't. It's not. I'm not overly sold on it. But I'm going to come in with some. Get some Uriel Grey. From my wet palette. And mix it with some Cadian flesh tone to really lighten that colour up. And then I'm going to come in and I'm going to highlight just the raised, most raised areas. It's a little bit weird, but it will, as it dries up, it'll be fine. You're throwing the brush everywhere. Then I'm going to come in with Uriel Grey. I'm going to edge highlight the sword. Now, it doesn't matter if I, if I overshoot it a little bit. This is going to be ready for the next the next stage then. Right, so I chucked some of this colour on the wet palette. I'm going to try again with the ropes. I'm going to come in and just give them a gentle... a lot better so I'm going to do the rest of those and I'm going to come with some potion camera shade and I'm not overly sold on the hair I like the hair but I'm not overly sold so what I'm going to try and do is give it a little I think this is the wrong shade damn it I think that's the wrong shade. Damn. I think I wanted the uh, uh, right kind of flesh shade, maybe. I don't know. Hmm. Okay. So, for all intensive purposes, this guy is battle ready. So, for all my regulars here, they know what's coming next. I'm now going to make this guy take him beyond battle ready standard. Yeah, I'm not too chuffed with the hair, but. It is what it is, so let's just get on with it, I suppose. First thing I'm going to do is come in with Talazar Blue. It's a contrast paint. I'm getting to get into the weapon here. Now what I'm going to do is take this I'm going to try a little experiment here. I'm going to take some and put it on the wet palette. And then I'm going to water it down a little bit. And I'm going to slap it on the sword. Wow. 
way I'm hoping that looks. The back end doesn't look too great, but that front end looks absolutely fantastic. But that's uh, that's a little bit of wet blending as well, there, guys, with the uh, Euro Grey because it's still a little bit wet. Now I'm going to take some Screamer Pink. Now I'm going to pour this right down actually, I want it really watery. The reason I want this really watery is I don't want it to go on too thick. I'm going to run it along all the ridges. Comes the rain again. It's been one of those days today where it's just going to keep raining, I think. So there we have that. It doesn't look that great at the moment. That's the first, first layer. Leave that to dry for a few minutes. That is actually not looking too bad, actually. Right, so now I'm going to take some Lothan Blue, I've just put in the wet palette, and I pick out all of his purity seals. <coughs> Looking nice. I'm going to get some Waz Deco Red on the wet palette now. Right, so now I'm going to come in Waz Deco Red and I'm just going to highlight all of these sections. Now, whilst Deco Red is a layer paint, so it will go on bright and dull itself down. Don't panic. Not just with whilst Deco Red, but any layer paint. Don't panic with any of them because they all go on bright and dull themselves down. That's what it looks like, first of all. But it will dull, I promise you, it will dull itself down. Now the aim of the most like a red in the corner red underneath is not to cover the corn red but just to have bits of the corn red coming through.
So you made an absolutely amazing highlight. Slack knee looks a bit weird. But now what I'm going to do, the contrast paint dry. No, it's not. That's good. I'm going to take a little bit of Uriel Grey. And I'm going to just drop a little bit. It's too much water in that, I think. Take a little bit of it. I want it just sitting there like that. Now the contrast paint is still wet, so it's good. And that gives me that nice. Doesn't really show this side, but let's get some more on there. You can come in with white scars if you wanted to. Right, so the cloak is another one's over. Come in again. Because it's watered down, it will just run off. Not not run off, but it will just fade away a little bit. And now we have him. The only thing I think I might have to do. I'm not that's happy with some of this white scar. Uh, trimming scar is going a bit blocky for me. A bit patchy, shall I say? Just come in and give it another little touch up here and there. Right, so here we have, he's finished. Now, the only thing I could add to this model really is on the sword, come move some white scars and just do an edge highlight along the edge of the blade. And I think maybe give his hair a little bit of a white, uh, white scar dry brush. But apart from that, I think he's absolutely fantastic. Now this doesn't look that great, the cloak, because it's still wet. But as it dries off, it will look good. But as it dries off, if I'm not happy with it, I can come in with some Negroff Nightshade. No, Night, Negroff Night, sorry. And if I'm going to show you right now. So there's a little bit up here on the cloak that I'm not happy with. I can come in and just edge that off. There's a little bird that's floating. Go on, get out. <laughs> Don't know if you heard him on the camera there chirping away at me. I fly into this dark room where there's a one strange light source and there's a man sitting over a hood on. Ooh, how do you use that? Anyway. So first of all, massive thank you to everyone for watching. Massive thank you for everyone who voted. Just sorry it was actually so late in the week because I had to be everything around and those of you that are regular would have seen the the remodeling of the workshop. I mean, there's still a lot to do here, but just do, um, the, the bare bones of it is where it should be so tomorrow's painting video is planned as scheduled as scheduled as planned um so everyone that's not that's seen this video for the first time 
If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe channel. Hit, hit the subscribe button because it costs you absolutely nothing. And subscribe to the channel because it helps the channel grow in a massive, massive way. Turn your notifications on so you don't miss anything. Everyone smash the thumbs up button so it's because YouTube sends this video for more people. And keeps this amazing community of you guys growing more. Guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for voting. Until next time, take it easy.